All right, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Listen, man, there's a lot of stuff going on. The election is drawing near, and soon we'll be voting for who the next president of the United States of America will be. Donald Trump is no doubt a very controversial guy, right? But let me state first before I go into all this information that was posted right here, which I got from PBS.org, by the way which is just a compilation of all the cases that are out there, real-time names and situations, people who have accused Donald Trump of misconduct one way or another. And I'm talking about women who have come forward to say that Donald Trump has sexually assaulted them sometime in a time gone by. Now, what makes this bad is it's a lot of women. And it's a lot of different types and levels of abuse, sexual abuse to it. I'll lay the chips on the table and you could do with it what you will. It says that 16 women have come forward with allegations against Donald Trump, each accusing him of inappropriate conduct. The most recent was writer and columnist E. Jean Carroll, who appeared in New York Magazine. The women's charge range from unwanted touches and aggressive, sudden kissing to the latest accusation against Trump that he attacked a woman in a dressing room and forced himself into her, meaning forced his private part into hers, literally R-A-P-E. Donald Trump, his campaign, and the Trump White House have insisted that all of these stories are fabricated and they are all politically motivated. Now, here are the details so far of all the cases. Please remember, he was found guilty or liable in a civil suit in a court of law for sexual abuse. And his victim was awarded $5 million dollars. There's another video on that that we will post shortly. Let's continue with this. It starts out by saying 16 women, 16 women have accused Trump of various forms of sexual abuse, assault, including one accusation of rape and another in which the accuser has not used the word rape, but whose description meets the legal definition of this figure includes standing accusations from both before and after the release of the Access Hollywood tape on October 7th of 2016. Four other women have publicly said that Mr. Trump walked in on them and other pageant contestants while they were undressing. BuzzFeed reported another three women had confirmed that the pageant stories were true, but they did not want their identities to be shown. The alleged incidents range from early 1980s to 2013. Donald Trump has adamantly denied all of these stories, and he accuses these women of being political tools who were trying to undermine either his candidacy for presidency or trying to just basically smear his name and get him into trouble to get him out the way. Somebody is using them to do this is pretty much what he has said. Now, here is what we know about the accusations of assaults against Donald Trump, including the date and the alleged assault. There are standing allegations of assault that have not been dissolved or disavowed by the alleged victim, rather. Start out with Kristen Anderson, early 1990s. Story was posted in the Washington Post on October 14th of 2016. Anderson says that she was in a Manhattan bar with friends when the person next to her reached up her skirt and touched her vagina through her underwear. She says she turned and then she recognized that that person was Donald Trump. Then there is E. Jean Carroll. Late 1995 or early 1996, that story ran in a New York magazine June 2021 and expected 
an upcoming book to tell more. Jean Carroll, I believe, did publish her book. Carol described running into Donald Trump in a department store where she says she recognized he recognized her for her widely read advice column. Carol says then she went into a dressing room after Donald Trump asked for her advice on a present, a lingerie for another woman that he was going to buy. Inside the le- the dressing room, she alleges that he shoved her against the wall, forced his fingers into her private area, and then thrust his private part halfway or completely into her private part. Do with that as you will. A senior White House official issued a statement to New York Magazine calling the accusation a completely false and unrealistic story. Rachel Crooks, 2005. Story in the New York Times on October 12th of 2016. A 22-year-old receptionist at the time, Crooks said that Trump gave her an unwanted kiss directly on her mouth after meeting him in 2005. Jane Doe, a.k.a. Katie Johnson, 1994. Lawsuit filed June of 2016. Lawsuit refiled October of 2016. As reported by BuzzFeed and others, then the lawsuit was dropped in November of 2016. Jane Doe is an unnamed plaintiff who has alone also gone by Katie Johnson in legal papers. She claims that she was repeatedly raped by Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein. This one gets very, very serious, guys. She claims that she was repeatedly raped by Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein at Epstein's New York City apartment in 1994 when she was just 13 years old. A witness, also given a pseudonym or a fake name, Tiffany Doe, said that she recruited Jane Doe and other Doe's using the name Johnson, gave an interview to the Daily Mail in which she said that she did not know who Donald Trump was at the time of the alleged attack, but she identified him later when she saw him on television. It is not known why she withdrew her lawsuit She has not spoken publicly or withdrawn her rape allegations since then. Her rape allegations still stands, but she has not spoken publicly since then. Hmm. Jessica Drake, 2006. The story made public at a news conference October 22nd of 2016. While working as an adult film actress, Drake says that Trump invited her to the room where he was staying and in Lake Tahoe. In the room, she says he grabbed her, hugged her, kissed her, and two other women who accompanied her without their permission. Later, she alleges that Trump called her and pressed her to return to his room offering her $10,000 at one point to return to the room, and she said she declined the $10,000. Jill Harth, 1992 to 1993. This story ran in the New York Times on October 9th of 2016. A Florida businesswoman who partnered with Donald Trump and later dated him, Hart alleged that he groped her, under the table at dinner while she was with her boyfriend, then repeatedly got her alone and it wouldn't turn it it, and it would turn into a wrestling match. Him trying to get some. She sued Trump for breach of contract, for sexual harassment, and at one point for attempted rape. She settled out of court and then In 1998, she ended up dating Trump 
anyways. <laughs> wow. Wow. Kathy Heller. 1997. This story was in The Guardian on October 15th of 2016. At a Mother's Day brunch for mar a -Lago club members, families in 1997, Heller alleges that she was introduced to Trump. He grabbed her and tried to kiss her on the lips. Heller says she leaned back to avoid him and then he kissed her on the side of her mouth. Anyways, CNN has reported Heller is a Democratic donor. Hmm. Nini Lakesonen. Nini Lakesonen, 2006. Former Miss Finland. Story was ran in the it's Ilta Sonomat on October 27th of 20. 16. In English, in the Telegraph, Lake Sonnen told Finnish newspaper Itla Sonomat that Trump squeezed her butt as she and other pageant contestants stood next to him for a publicity photo ahead of an appearance on the Letterman show. Now, Donald Trump, by his own means, came out publicly. And said, "Yeah, I'm the, I'm, you know, I'm the owner of the pageant, so I get to go back there and inspect, right? Remember the ghastly comment when he said, grab him by the pussy, right? So Jessica Leeds, early 1980s. This story ran in the New York Times on October 12th of 2016. Leeds says she sat next to Trump." in first class on an airplane and then he kissed her he groped her chest and he reached up her skirt leading her to have to move back to coach he was like an octopus she told the new york times tentacles in a new york post that was reported published october 14th 2016 a British man whose interview was arranged by the Trump campaign said that he was on the flight, that Leeds' account is false, and that he remembers Leeds being the one who was acting inappropriately. Hmm. Mindy McGilvery, or McGilvery, January 24th, 2003. This story was ran in the Palm Beach Post on October 12th of 2016. If you notice, I'm giving you all the outlets where these stories were published. So this is not me making this up. These are stories that were made public already. And I'm just telling you that there are over 16 women who have come forward to accuse Donald Trump of sexual misconduct at different levels even to the point of rape. Mindy McGilvery, January 24th, 2003. Story posted in the Palm Beach Post on October 12th, 2016. Working as an assistant to photographers at Mar-a-Lago in 2003, McGilvery charges that Trump nudged or grabbed her from behind. Jennifer Murphy, 2004, her story in the Grazia on October 12, 2016. A former Miss USA and The Apprentice contestant, Grazia says that Trump kissed her on the lips after walking her to the elevator following a meeting in New York, which he said was to discuss a possible job offer. Cassandra Serles, 2013. This story made public in Facebook posts in early 2016. Miss Washington, 2013, was her title. Serles wrote on Facebook, he probably doesn't want me telling the story, but the time he about the time he continually grabbed my ass and invited me to his hotel room. 
Needless to say, she did not go. Natasha Stoinoff, December of 2005. This story was on People.com, October 12, 2016. I guess he was a really busy man in 2016. Stoinoff was a celebrity reporter and was covering Trump for People magazine. She alleges that Trump assaulted her while she was at Mar-a-Lago interviewing him and Melania Trump for a story about their one-year anniversary. She alleges that Donald Trump took her to a private room, pushed her against the wall, and aggressively kissed her. Stoinoff also says a staffer told her that Trump was waiting for her the next day at a massage appointment. She did not go. Temple Taggart, McDowell, 1997. This story ran in the New York Times, May 14th, 2016. McDowell, who was Miss Utah, USA, 1997, charges that Donald Trump suddenly kissed her without her consent on two separate occasions. Karena, Virginia, 1998. This story was made public at a news conference in October 20th of 2016. Virginia says that while she was waiting for a ride following the U.S. Open tennis tournament, Donald Trump walked up to her, grabbed her arm, and touched her breasts. Summer Zervos, 2007. This story was made public in a news conference October 14th, of 2016. A former contestant on The Apprentice, Zervos alleges that Donald Trump told her he wanted to discuss a possible job offer similar to what he told another contestant. But alone in a Beverly Hills hotel bungalow is where he wanted to discuss it. So she made herself available. At which he grabbed her breasts, kissed her, and tried to lead her into a bedroom. Pageant contestants alleging that Trump walked in on them while they were dressing are Maria, Maria Bellado, 1997 Miss Vermont teen. Story was in BuzzFeed on October 12, 2016. Tasha Dixon, 2001 Miss Arizona. Story in CBS LA on October 11, 2016. Victoria Hughes, 1997, Miss New Mexico teen. Story was in BuzzFeed on October 13, 2016. Bridget Sullivan, 2000, Miss New Hampshire. Story was in BuzzFeed on May 18, 2016. BuzzFeed on October 12, 2016 reported that three other sources from 1997 Miss Teen USA pageant confirmed Bellado and Hughes' story to be true, that Donald Trump would walk in on them while they were back there naked, getting dressed, etc. Other allegations for improper conduct. You have a Lisa Boyne, Summer 1996. This story was in the Huffington Post on October 13th of 2016. Boyne alleges that a group dinner, at a group dinner, Trump and other men forced women to walk over the table to leave their seats and that Trump looked up their skirts and commented on their underwears and their genitalia as they did so. Ivana Trump, 1989, accusations in early 1990s court deposition made public in the Daily Beast in July 27th of 2015. Ivana disavowed stories of rape in a 1993 book and further commented on July 28th of 2015. The mother of three children with Trump, Ivana Trump, had charged that Trump violated their bond of love 
in a 1989 incident which she has not described any further in public. She wrote that her reported words charging her ex-husband with rape in a deposition were figurative that stories about rape are totally without merit and she did not mean rape in the criminal sense. She is under a or was under a confidentiality agreement and she could not discuss her marriage publicly without approval from Donald Trump. This was written by Lisa Desjardins. Lisa Desjardins is a correspondent for PBS NewsHour where she covers news from the U.S. Capitol while also traveling across the country to report on how decisions in Washington affect people where they live and work. So, we put the cards on the table for you to go ahead, be aware, and do with this information what you will. I know some people say one or two women I could see, maybe, uh, but 16 telling all the same stories and some of them backing up stories of others who they didn't even know. Wow. What are your thoughts on this? Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.